it's morning and this is our lady of seven sorrows basilica in the upper east region of ghana in the kasana nankana district precisely navrongo this building has been standing here for over years now which i've been made to understand that they just celebrated a hundred years of the existence of this very building. I got curious to find out more about this building because it's an eco-friendly building which happens to be and houses lot and lot of history. Now I'm getting closer to have a look at the architectural design and also find out lots about how this building came to being. Let's get closer. So this is the entrance to the Basilica. As you can see, it's solely made from clay, ethan. And it looks so amazing to watch. So you can see some layers of the clay being exposed on the building. Your visit to Navrongo will never be complete without coming to visit this beautiful edifice. Sitting in the center and in the heart of Navrongo with lots and lots of history hidden and embedded in this very building. The building tells us how the Kasena and the Nankana people live and they are still living. This is Our Lady of Seven Sorrows. Our Lady of Seven Sorrows. And interestingly, it comes with a book which has lots and lots of history surrounding this very place and you've got to look out for this very book. As I always keep saying, there's no place like home and there's no place like Africa. Africa has the best of everything. So for those of you thinking of repatriating to Africa, for those of you thinking that Africa has nothing to offer, look at this building. We have been able to keep our history to date as the Kasena Nankana people and are telling our stories our own way. Now, the structure in front of me used to be an old boho I presume but it has been grown with weeds in it so currently it's not being in use any longer and it's filled and when you have a look take a close look at it you realize that the kind of materials that was used in building this place it's so amazing so 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 amazing You might come across this building here and you might just look at it as an ordinary building but believe me you this is the museum 
this is the museum this is the museum that tends to house the whole of the Kasina Nankana tradition and culture it might look so small but then believe me you when you take a tour in this very building you see so much you see so much interesting stuff here which let's look at the entrance let's see how the entrance looks like and then if possible we get in so yes there it reads Navrongo Basilica Museum Navrongo Basilica Museum I'm so excited to be here this very day to bring you the forgotten history about the people of the Kasina and then the Nankana and as far as Navrongo is concerned which I was hearing some interesting thing about Navrongo we used to be known as Navro as an N-A-V-O-R-O -O, Navro and it has an interesting meaning Navro um, I was told the tour guide will be attending to me shortly uh. God bless Africa God bless Africa see the pots this is what our forefathers drank from this is what we are supposed to be using currently this is history this is tradition this is culture and this is Africa so beautiful we have a culture we should be proud of as Africans and yes I say this with my chest out that yes I'm an African if you've not been here before it's time to visit if you've not been here before I would say it's time to visit those are the ports and this is another which food is being prepared from this earthen way This is the first indigenous bishop of this place. History down the memory. Again, history down the memory. Okay, our tour guide is here and he has just opened up the place. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go have a look at the Navrongo Basilica Museum, what they have there. Alright, so over there is the traditional building of the people of Kasina and then the Nankanas. Good. And I have my tour guide here who will be taking us through a little talk. Look at the building here. We have the sitting room, when you go inside, then uh, you have the bedroom. 
So, uh, you know, the reason why they have this small, small, the, the, so that was part of the is that it was the select, the, because of the select camp. When they were coming, when, normally they come to pick them. You know, they are smart with their, their rules. So they will just go quickly and then go and hide in the corner. Then waiting for them, they can just be some state and pick them and then just put them inside. But here they have the, the, the bedroom as the first thing. The door over there is their kitchen. Okay. As we were told, that's the kitchen. And you could see calabash, eating bowls. And let's see if I can enter a little. Great. Great, 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 great. This is a kitchen. It's truly the kitchen. Yes. I can see. Okay. So this is the bedroom. And I presume this is the bed. Uh, yeah. Or the chair. This this is the sitting room. Oh, okay. And this where those uh, posts there, mm -hmm. like the old, old ladies, like the normal dry... Uh, Millet, uh, dry millet or okro, okro, okay, uh, or guinea fowl and hmm. hide in in it. In it oh, for, okay, for uh, visitors. For visitors, you know, when they leave it open, the small small children will go and take everything. Take everything. So when a visitor comes, they will not get anything again. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. See. So see. in those old days, the, the the young ones fear those spots. Spots. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Wow. Wow. Uh -huh. And the calabashes over there, that's how they normal prepare them and store. Store, okay. For uh, future use. For future use. Like right. when you marry mm -hmm. fresh uh, lady, mm -hmm. they will use that, uh, those ones for the drumming. Oh, okay. So you use calabash for drumming? Yes. Wow, wow, this is incredible. Wow, it's only in Navrongo Basilica Museum that you found all these hidden artifacts. Yes. Wow. Now, for those of you who think Africa hasn't got history, Africa has no historical backgrounds and the rest, come to Navrongo and you see things for yourself. And so, this is a local mat you use? Yes. Over here. Okay. okay. I know uh, during those times, mm -hmm. or those days, when somebody died, there was no coffin uh, like now we do. Mm. So, they will not use that mat and then wrap the person, person and then go and buy it. Oh, okay. But after the barrier, the normal then the mat. The mat, okay. Yes. So that means the mat goes with the coffin, uh, yes. with the person, with sorry. The person. Oh, okay. And if it is uh, rainy season, mm. by, like now, mm -hmm. they will not bury it. They will just duck a hole and then bury it there. Oh, okay. Yes. You know, it's, it's when you bury it, you, you, you burn it in this mm. season. Uh, it's called in a rain. Mm. So the rain is always coming. Oh, okay. So that's why we don't, be, we don't burn it. Burn now. it now, okay. So these are ancient things here. I think this is the first building. Uh, no, this is a basilic, uh, the basilic. How do you call it? The Mission and construction. Mission and construction, oh, okay. And then we have there the Gluto, the bishop residence. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's see how it looks like. Great, great. And ladies and gentlemen, don't forget the bishop president. I'll show you the uh, picture of it, and which is over here, over here. And the building still stands. It was built in 1933 to 34, and it still stands. The first Roman fathers who were here happens to be using this type of spectacles for reading purposes and be able to see their way through. Oh, by the entrance. Yes. This is the complete building. Oh, okay. Normal use. Okay. So this this man are sitting outside. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a Sicilia house. As so, soon. Someone, someone came to consult. Mm. Like you know, in those olden days, when you when somebody died, you have mm. to come, you go to the Susaya and consult. Oh, Maybe okay. what happened or what they need to sacrifice before. Mm. Oh, okay, oh, okay, I see. Wow. All right, so this is a traditional architecture of um, the Nankana people, right? Nan Nankani, right? Yeah. Okay. And then over here happens to be the Kassina. the Kassina people. Right, 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 right. 
and here happens to be the construction or is it conservation work actually so it's it has to do with the construction of the basilica how the place was built and it's able to withstand all weather to date interestingly Navrongo Upper East we have lots and lots of interesting things here so when you hear Ghana Ghana is not only Accra Ghana is not only Kumasi but Upper East, Upper West, Northern region is all part of Ghana. We, we have the post, the baskets to funeral, final funeral rest for ladies. Oh, okay. Yeah. So they will normally go after the funeral, the final funeral rest, they will, be, they will go and destroy all these posts mm. to signify that, yes, they finish with uh, the final funeral rites. Right. But you know, because the church doesn't allow the breaking of the, the post, mm -hmm. that's why we have a place here to store them. To store them. And it's also serving as a museum yes. for that matter. Right. A, an old man died. This is what they use for war dance. Oh, okay. The normal weight behind their back. Hmm. And then they will be playing the drums. Drums, so okay. They will now move much more hmm. for the war dance. The war dance, okay. When they die, they will always buy these things hmm. with the bone and arrow. And after that, they will now keep it hmm. for the family. Family, okay. Wow. Interesting. Interesting things here. Okay. So over here, we have the smoke. I we guess. have the smoke uh, for men. Mm -hmm. This the the this, the da the up and this is the down. Down. Okay. And then this is the cap the normal where where to. And then this a triangular pant. Oh, okay. No, when uh, a man died, hmm. this the pant they will always use to wear the person. Person, okay. In this region, like in the Kasana and Kana uh, tradition, hmm. when a man died, they will, even if you don't have anything to wear, you should have this. Hmm. You should have the triangular pant. Pants, okay. Yeah. So if you go to an, any old man in the house, hmm. if he doesn't even have anything, this turn is there. There, okay. Yes. Okay. Wow. Interesting. All right. The, um, is it an uh, anklet or bracelet there? This anklet. Oh, okay. For the leg or for the hand? Some, they use some. This one's mm -hmm. is for the hand and then oh. the, this one is for the leg. Oh, okay. So it's anklet and bracelet for the men? Yes, for okay. the men. And um, when do they normally wear? 